everybody, how's it going? So I just wanted to quickly jump on and let you guys know that I haven't quite gotten around to filming the next video for Angular 2, which is the last animation video I want to cover. However, I have done the example, so I want to quickly show you guys what it's going to be that I'll be basically taking you through in the next video. Uh, the reason for this is I want you guys to be to stay engaged because tomorrow night I'm not going to be able to record the video either as I'm off to a football game. So it's the first game of the year, the season starts, so I will be enjoying that. So I'm not going to be able to film tomorrow. I haven't got time to film tonight. But I'll probably be doing it on Friday. But just to keep you guys interested, I wanted to show you what I was going to do next. Because if you guys remember right, in the previous video, I mentioned at the end of that video that we'd be looking at routing and animations. So I wanted to give you an idea of what it is. Now, it's not going to look like much. If you guys have looked at my previous video, you have know the, the good old shaking form. right? So if I put not enough stuff here... And then I click login, it shakes. All right? So it's the same actual code base. I've just mixed it up a bit so that if this time when I actually leave the screen, it slides in a new URL. So up the top here, the URLs then become slash launching success. Okay? Now it doesn't look like much, but there's going to be a few things that we cater for here. And the first one is, as you can see, it slides in on entry. But it also does a little bit of opacity. So if I click, if I do this, if you look very carefully, you'll see some opacity changes at the same time. Now, you can do this pretty easily with animation at the moment, but basically what I'll be talking about is executing animations in parallel and what you can do, or what you can basically do when you do that. And then I'll look at showing you when I update routes, how the animations all kick in. So that's what's in the next video, okay? I just wanted to quickly show you guys what that was. Pretty cool stuff. And then after that, as I said, we're gonna look into routing, some more of what I'm doing here at a, a more in-depth level. And then we'll focus on to testing. And then obviously after that deployment, and that's it. And then we'll probably focus on maybe, you know, new stuff, maybe security, maybe, uh, you know, Angular 4 specific things, or I might jump into something else completely different. I don't know yet. But that's what you're going to be looking for in the next video. It should be up in a couple of days. Okay? So I'll see you all then.